Listen, Alan, if I don't make it, you need to know about my will. Hey, I don't want to hear that kind of talk. You're going to make it. But go on, finish what you were saying. First of all, I left the house to you and Jake. Yes! <laughs> You're going to make it. Just so you know, there's two mortgages on it, and the property taxes are $50,000 a year. Uh, 50000 Boy, I don't, I don't know uh, how I could afford that. You know, unless I came into some money, you know, uh, an inheritance or, or something. There's no money, Alan. None? The whole thing's a house of cards. <laughs> to do this, but I am Matthew Broderick, <laughs> and that is my brother lying there. I am so sorry, Mr. Broderick. I love you and the producers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's have a look, see, huh? According to your tests, you just had an acute attack of indigestion. Oh. It was gas? Yeah, it's a big bubble, about the size of a pomegranate. <laughs> what have you had to eat recently? Nothing much. We had Belgian waffles, Lynx sausages, two Red Bulls, a quart of scotch, and the tongue of a 24-year-old actress. He asked what I ate, Alan. And I told him, Charlie. Oh, oh you're a dirty bird. <laughs> but the good news is that you are a perfectly healthy 50-year-old man. I'm only 40. Tell that to your liver. <laughs> I would recommend you slow down a bit. No, huh? I've been saying the same thing. Yeah. It's weird, Alan. It seems like just yesterday I could I could party all night, eat and drink anything I wanted to. Now a couple of Red Bulls and a waffle, and I'm sitting in the emergency room praying for a fart. <laughs> now you know why I ordered tomato juice and cottage cheese. I got it in me. Do take good care of yourself. I try. I guess that's why I keep you around. Because I'm a good example? No, you clawed spare parts. Men, 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 men